Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We have Gunslinger Suicidal Rig. And I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. Okay? I didn't want to, but uh, you guys made me. I'm gonna say it. You guys are weird. You know you know why you're weird? You know why you're weird? Cause uh I look at my my, my, my YouTube statistics, you know? Okay, my, I don't think my lodge attack is open. And that's why my uh thing feels a little bit off right now. Let's go ahead and get hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. This is important. Logi, Logitech G Hub. Open that up and then close it. And now it's just like ever so slightly slower and I can be a little bit more accurate. Okay, so you guys are weird, right? We're starting off great, we're starting off strong. Uh, it, like I look at my YouTube statistics, my uh, my tongue is still a little bit. <laughs> you guys wouldn't have known that it's happened yet because that video goes up tomorrow. Today? No, it goes up earlier. Yeah, it go I think it goes up earlier. Uh, but in the last Yamajack tries, I, uh, I was talking about how he bit my tongue, the Savage Lance one. Um, still kind of there a little bit. <laughs> I bit it pretty, pretty dang hard. Um, so it's still kind of bugging me. But uh, yeah, he's such as life, such as life. Um, you might, you might be able to hear a little bit of uh, of the the lisp as I as I try to avoid it throughout the throughout the day. Plus, I have to stream and stuff. Like, oh, it's just uh, if you if you. If your sole responsibility is to talk for seven hours a day, don't bite your tongue really hard. Like, just really don't do it, because you just you just aggravate it throughout the entire day, and it just continues to get worse and worse, and it sucks. <laughs> anyway, you guys, uh, you guys are weird. Uh, I look at my YouTube statistics, and uh, you know my videos will have like zero views, one view on them maybe, and then some view some videos will get like ten, you know. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty content with the amount of views that we're getting. But uh, you know, I'll look at at some videos that just get no views, and then a few days later, they all just get like four or five views. And you know, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But the the thing is, is that the the like watch time and the view duration, like the average view duration and the watch time, are all still like pretty good. You know. So, like, I think what's happening is, uh, at least some of you guys are, are, like, leaving the videos for, like, a few days, and then just binging them. I think, I think you guys are binging some of my videos, the KF2 at least. The, uh, the Amajack Tries, the Gunfire Reborn, and the Death's Gambit don't do nearly as well. I know, it's a lot of content. Um, I am going to be advertising today as of the time of recording. Uh, today's death gambit, because the, uh, the, no, no, the, the today's gunfire reborn, rather, because uh, the, uh, the gunfire reborn Discord has a, uh, a spot to put videos, and it's like active and stuff. There are actually people who go there and like talk about the videos and, and watch them and, and stuff, and I'm like, huh, that's unlike anything I've ever seen before. So they allow you to post just normal runs. So uh, I'm gonna. I recorded one, like a special episode, uh, and uh, talked about uh, posting it there and stuff, and I'm going to post that there. It goes up today as of the time of recording this, yesterday for you guys, but uh, hopefully I get some, some Gunfire Reborn viewers as well from that. Hopefully some people find it enjoyable, maybe they check out the, the KF2 stuff as well, but really I'd just like to get more views on the Gunfire Reborn. And if you guys aren't interested in it, because you're interested in the KF2, that's fine. You don't have to watch it. You know, it's not there for you if you don't want to watch it. It's uh, it's there for the people that do want to watch it, which are a couple of people. But it's uh, it always it like uh, it 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 can be weird to see and like it can feel bad at times to see the uh, the no views on a video and then just like five views at a time. Um, so you guys all have the same schedule, you're, like planning out the <laughs> the binge time. You have like uh. I don't know, probably just like similar schedules, living in similar parts of the world kind of thing, but um, it's uh, it's good fun when it happens. Because they'll, they'll just be sitting there with zero views, and I'm like, wow, that video did really bad. <laughs> wonder what I did wrong here. 
I mean, last week I know what I did wrong. I got, I definitely got less views last week. I'm hoping to, to kind of fix that this week. You know, it's obvious. I, I was in a bad mood last week. The, the content definitely suffered as a result. Where the heck are these dang Zeds, dude? The content definitely suffered as a result, and uh, you know, there are problems that I had to fix, and I took the easy way out, and it, it uh, the, the, yeah, the content suffered. You know, the content definitely suffered. Which is, uh, it's fine. You know, everybody has a bad week now and then. Feeling better this week. Um, so how's the whole waking up earlier thing going for me? It's going pretty well, actually. Um, last night was just a terrible night of sleep, though. Uh, so it's like 10 to 11 right now. And uh, I'm recording. Which is uh, not super great, because... You, know, you do the math on it. I've got uh, an hour and a half of KF2 to record, so that's going to be done by like quarter after 12, and then an hour of uh, Yamashak tries, so that's going to be done by like quarter after 1, plus I have to find the, the dang games to play in the first place. Um, so we're probably looking at like you know 12.30, and then I have to get the Gunfire Reborn, and that takes like 45 minutes, which means I'm probably not going to be getting the Gunfire Reborn done before stream. Um, I just... Uh, I wasted too much time sleeping. It was, uh, like, I went, I got, I was so tired last night. I was planning on going out to get my hormones, and, uh, I was planning to, like, go to bed at, like, 1 or 2. Like, I had plans in RuneScape to, to do some bossing, and then, uh, AFK on some AFK bull stuff, and get a bit of work done on the thumbnails and titles and descriptions and all that. Like, I didn't. It was 10 o'clock, I finished up my, my dailies, and I was like, alright, I'm going to bed. And uh, to bed I went. Vintage. Unfortunately, I woke up at like 3:30 a.m. and uh, couldn't fall back asleep, so I just kind of laid there reading um, for a little while. But um, you know, fell back asleep around 6:30-ish. Woke up again at like 8:30. <laughs> Read a little bit more, fell asleep, and then woke up at 10. By the time I actually got out of bed and, and did all my morning duties, you know, it was 10:30 uh, ish, 10:45 ish, 10:40 ish, something around there. I can't remember. My memory in the past five minutes has failed me. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a terrible sleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really tired. Like I rested. I'm, I'm well rested, I guess. But um, it was uh, it was just it, I just got interrupted a lot throughout the night and. Yeah. So I'm hoping today goes better. I'm really hoping that uh, I'm able to stay up a little bit later and then wake up on time and, 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 and have a nicer sleep. Get all the stuff that I want to get done later today done. You know, get my hormones. How do I even get out of here? You know, I, I always say that I'm like good at getting around this place. Once I'm down here, I'm lost. No dang idea where I'm going. Like, I want to go out there. I guess that we're right below... Yeah. Right below the little helipad thing. Which is to say... That we can just pop right out over here. Nicely done. I'm impressed by your survival instinct out there. Look at that. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Can I actually go up here? No. <laughs> you gosh darn liar. SMH, man. I got a sneeze coming. So I was looking up how to, uh, like, feminize sneezes and coughs and stuff. And, uh, man, like, <laughs> you, know, you, you, you get into all this, uh, like voice work and stuff and it gets so scientific you know get you have to learn like sound theory to a certain extent to be able to to be able to to like do this kind of stuff because uh i'm like looking it up right allow me to be hydrated i'm looking it up wow i have not drank water today i think because i just felt like wow yeah feeling when you like wake up and you haven't drank and like you take those first few gulps of water and they go down your throat and it like doesn't hurt but it like 
Like you, you just like drank the water too quickly and you were like super dehydrated. You know, you gotta like take it a little bit slower when you're all dehydrated like that. You gotta give yourself uh, a couple of sips. <laughs> normally, normally I drink more water before I go to bed and then drink water when I wake up. But this is the same bottle of water that I, I brought for myself last night. So I clearly did not drink any water last night. Same water in the bottle, anyway. It's always the same bottle. Hey. Actually, you don't really need that. Yes, I do. So I clearly didn't drink any water. I was tired, man. I passed out at like 10 o'clock last night. And I didn't drink anything until, well, 11 o'clock today. You know? And then I take like a big sip of it. And don't forget, I'm on a, I'm on a, well, I haven't been taking it because I don't have it. But, um, the habits are still there anyway. I'm on a, uh, I can't remember what it's called now. Diuretic? Makes me have to use the washroom a lot. I haven't been taking it because I don't have it because I was irresponsible. But, uh, so be it. So be it. Anyway, uh, you have to, like, learn sound theory to, to be able to do any kind of, like, voice work and stuff, right? So you're like looking up how do you change how do you change your the sound of your cough and it's like oh well you know there's this, there's a bunch of different parts to what make up any sound there's the attack there's the it's attack the uh, and release and then the other bit I don't remember look I, I I'm not saying I'm good at it <laughs> but you have to like learn it um, but the important part for the um, for the coughs and the sneezes anyway is the attack part which is like the first part right so for like uh, like a normal cough. <clears throat> right, like clearing my throat. Let's get an actual cough, okay? <coughs> right, so like the first part, the first attack is like, <coughs> right? If you like, if you like, change the attack, it's like, <coughs> it like it gets more feminine, sort of. And then you just have to like practice it and get like a good starting sound, and then like it changes the entire sound of the cough because like that's just how brains work. But like you have to like learn about all these things and like why it works to understand it and blah 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 and I'm like yeah about that how would I just never cough again can I get a mute button in real life <laughs> I don't know how to do it I haven't practiced it much I don't really care about practicing the cough until I uh, until I've gotten the voice down to a point where I'm happy with it because otherwise I'm just, I'm doing too much. You know, I'm doing too much. I'm barely even able to practice my uh, my voice at this point. Um, you know, I, I still I still do my voice and still refine it on occasion. Like I'm sitting down on the toilet, I'll talk to myself or whatever and whatnot. But uh, I, don't, uh, I don't, I don't like budget time really for it. As much as I should be. As I don't have the time for it right now. I got to get used to all the new... Uh, the new stuff I'm working on to get uh, get to a point where I'm happy with it and I can work on it. God, I'm really dehydrated. Yeah, I need to hydrate. You gotta remember to drink your water throughout the day, okay? If you're a child, don't drink a bunch of water before bed. If you're an adult that wakes up dehydrated, drink a lot of water before bed. I sweat a lot. Last night, I guess. Um, no, I did sweat a lot last night. Um, it was, like, really cold when I went to bed, so I put on my heavy blanket. And then it was really hot when I woke up. I'm like, oh my god, get this off of me. And then, you know, I woke up at 4 a.m., right? It was really hot. Somehow by, like... Hey, buddy, you doing all right? So I'm up by like uh, 6 a.m. when I went back to bed. It was really cold again, so I had to put my blanket on. And then I wake up at 10 a.m. and I'm again just like boiling. I'm like, oh my god. What, what is this? This is just a terrible night of sleep. <laughs> it's terrible, man. But hey, we're here now. We're done. It's, it's past. I actually feel rested. Somehow. Despite it just being like a memorable night's sleep that just was horrible the whole way through. Somehow it it, it, it fulfilled its purpose at least. That's all you can really ask for. Now, did it do it as well as I would have liked? Nah. I would have liked to have done it in less time, you know? <laughs> That's really the, the problem here is 
it took from 10 o'clock last night till 10 o'clock in the morning for me to yeah I shouldn't have gone that way I thought I could walk down but you can't from 10 it was like 12 hours sleep it was just split up you know sucks that was a 15 minute KF rig really am I so bad all of a sudden I guess it's because stuff doesn't really spawn when we're up there that's okay That's okay. I opened up some crates on stream the other day. Like last Friday we did KF2 on stream. I opened up some crates. Got sick of it real quick though. It's just so tedious to open up like a billion vault crates all at once, you know? First batch of Zeds hitting your it's way. like, who wants to do that? Get Not me. I don't. No thank you. I'll, uh, I'll pass on that. Okay, I've, I've, I've wrapped my pajama pants around. I'm gonna get uh, I've wrapped my pajama pants around my leg way too tight. It like, my, my, uh, my, my pants just, like, I hate the feeling of them being like super loose around my legs. And then I like tighten them up around my, uh, like ankles-ish. Just like roll it up a little bit and then wrap them under themselves and kind of like lock it in there. And then I hate the feeling of them being like super tight around my legs. Like, not like restrictingly tight, but like definitely um i can i can feel it it's not i can still like fit stuff under there like it's not restricting blood flow or whatever you know it's not even restricting airflow um but you know it's uh it's uh it's 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 on there like much tighter than the like loose three legs you can fit in these things kind of kind of idea you know uh and then i like i hate that and i have to switch it back and oh, it's just it's just this constant back and forth but anyway i'm gonna get a webcam well i have a webcam i'm gonna get a face cam on uh, on on stream and, and possibly on videos as well not until i've lost weight i'm super self-conscious about my weight and uh, face and all that like there's, there's stuff to do on it but uh you know going forward i know that face cams are generally speaking a, a good thing especially if i uh you know, I hate to say it. <laughs> I hate. I do hate to say it, but uh, especially if I'm one day like attractive, <laughs> it helps a lot. Um, I hate it, but like it does help. Uh, and I would like to have a face cam anyway, because I like watching face cams on uh, on stuff just to see reactions and, and uh, faces that people make, and uh, it benefits the channel a lot. So once I'm once I'm confident enough to to throw that out there, I uh, I will be. But I tell you, I wear my pajamas when I record, and that's not changing when I get a webcam. It might be—it's gonna be like a year away at least before I get a face cam. Like, don't don't get your hopes up if you're into it. Um, it's there. There's there's a lot of work to be done on uh, on me as a, as a whole before I can even like worry about face cams. You know, like I'm just I'm not confident enough for that at all. But I want it eventually. It would be nice. Um, Super beneficial for the channel, like I said. I might get rid of it. Um, you know, as a girl, my ideal is to, to eventually be an attractive girl. <laughs> you know, like that that is the end goal here. And uh, I don't want to invite like a whole bunch of creeps onto the channel. But that's probably going to happen anyway once my voice changes. So I can't really stop it, I don't think. But, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll have to see. I don't want to invite a bunch of creeps that, that just come because I have a pretty face or whatever. Um, you know, the, the, that's not, that's not my intention. My intention is, is mostly to bring a whole bunch of silent creeps, <laughs> you know, who, uh, who are respectful by not talking. Um, and then also to entertain a little bit better with, uh, with reactions when stuff happens. Because I do emote, I do emote in, uh, in real life when things happen, I do you know, make faces and stuff, and I think those are amusing to watch as a viewer myself. Um, so I figure one day we can have them. One day. It'll be it'll be a while. I've had some old viewers coming into the stream actually as well, so we were talking uh, in a recent episode about how I might have to pivot. Um, but I've been having a couple of old viewers coming uh, coming back and, and checking out the stream. And it's it's weird because I used to be very open about who I was 
back when I streamed before, and who I was back then isn't who I am now. You know, you know what I mean? So, they still know me by my dead name and all that, and I'm like, ah, this again. Time to, time to go through, time to go through, you know. Hi, uh, yeah, I can't use that name anymore because it's not uh, it's not my name anymore, and it's always it's always an awkward situation. You know, most people are uh, are pretty okay with it, but a lot of people super aren't, and uh, it always sucks when somebody isn't. Because you know, for like a while they were like you know friends or, or colleagues or whatever, and and now all of a sudden it's like yeah, we just can't talk anymore. Like, you're just out of my life now. And, uh, that sucks. It does, you know? But, so be it. If it happens, it happens. I am, uh, I am pleased to be having old viewers returning. Old, uh, old pals coming back and, uh, checking out the channel again. You know, I, ideally, we'd like to uh, to continue up with the the, the sort of uh, variety content on the stream, and if uh, you know it's seeming like it's starting to pick up a little bit, at least, um, which is good. <laughs> That's certainly good. Today is Tuesday, so you got RuneScape. I talked about um, throwing out the uh, like advertisements thing for um, the fighting a boss and getting some feedback on it. Today, uh, so the boss that I'd be fighting is Araxor, and he has a rotation, so every four days, uh, a different, like, phase of his is closed, and I only have trouble on one of his phases, and so today I'm probably gonna be doing the same boss, but I'm like, I can't go ask for feedback when I'm, like, just kind of already good at it, you know? Like, they're, they, they're, they come and see it, and they're like, huh, can you give me feedback? You know, like... Can I get some assistance on this? Because you're doing this really, really well. You're handling it like just really, really well, you know? Because I know it. I know my way around. And uh, I can't really, I feel bad about that because that's, that's clearly a marketing play. And I, just, I don't really want to do that. I don't need the assistance. I'm not going to ask for the assistance just to get views. Um, but Friday, I will be doing an hour of it. And uh, on Friday, the phase that I have trouble with is open. So Friday, I'll have to wait until the KF2 thing gets... Um, yeah, I'll have to wait until Friday for the, uh, That's how we do it in Darwin. for the, uh, the RuneScape advertising stuff, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, come on, dude. I don't mind waiting until Friday. Okay. Oh, dears. Oh, dears. What's this message? It's an email. An email of what? Is this an email I care about? The YouTube team, important changes to age-restricted content. I don't make age-restricted content. Fun's coming. Or... What, what, is, what is this email? This is, this is relevant to you guys, maybe, right? Now that's Please, show me, this, show me this email. Uh, oh, they're expanding the use of automated systems to make it safer for kids to watch stuff on YouTube, I guess. That's what it looks like. Oh, no, this is, this looks like big, hold up, I'll have to read this before the next episode and uh, share it with you guys then, because this is like, quick glance at it, looks like it's actually quite a big deal, um, this could be a big deal, it might involve a, a mild pivot on the channel, <laughs> maybe, possibly. Looks like they're removing the, the opportunity to embed uh, content that is age-restricted on other websites. So you can only view age-restricted content on YouTube. You can't view it off of YouTube. So if you're like browsing Reddit or something like that, and uh, somebody shares like a video of uh, of some something that's got like a lot of cursing in it, it's not, uh, you know, child-friendly. Uh, you don't have to go to YouTube to watch it. You can't just like hit the the red enhancement suite little expando and and watch it. That's what it seems like. I haven't read the whole email yet. But I'll have to I'll have to read it all and, and see how it is. And 
We might talk about it in the next episode, but uh, that's, that's what it seems like. And that's a big deal. That's going to negatively impact a lot of people. If I can't, uh, I was I was planning on putting on a, um, I guarantee you were able to walk off this before. Um, I was planning on putting on a, uh, like, embedded uh, video viewer on my, uh, on my uh, website as well, eventually. Whenever I got around to working on that again. <laughs> um, that's clearly apparently not happening anymore, because I just can't do it, because my videos are child-not-friendly. They are age-restricted. Um, I believe. Unless age-restricted is 18+, plus, but I don't think YouTube has any 18-plus stuff on the... Or, I don't think they allow it, anyway. They don't, they're not, like, officially supporting it. You can't restrict it to 18+. plus. It's either child-friendly or not child-friendly. Which is, uh, is fine. You know, we don't need 18 and 18 and up stuff on the on YouTube. There are there are other websites for that, and um, I'm glad it's it's not uh, contaminated. Cause you imagine, you know, you get like lost in uh, in YouTube, and that stuff's just like everywhere. You know, like you watch like two videos that are somewhat related, and your whole like suggestions feed is just straight up porn. <laughs> Can you imagine that? It'd be terrible. You, know, you, you go watch uh, like some women's sports competition because you're into women's sports, and now it's like, oh well, that's uh, kind of looks like a boob there. Um, time to just show you exclusively porn. You know they do it. You know they would, and you know it would be successful. <laughs> At least it would be successful. Um, to certain, like it would probably be bad for YouTube, but it would be successful as a as a thing. Like it would work, but YouTube would lose a lot of its audience because there's kids and, and other stuff on the channel, and then they like advertisers are gonna be like, I don't want to be there, and it'd be like a whole a whole problem. But you know it would work, the suggestions. People who are watching it would definitely watch it. Cause YouTube already does that to a certain extent. Um, if you've been watching women's sports, they will absolutely show you uh, suggestive content. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's definitely there. I'm like, I don't watch women's sports, but uh, I, I have seen the uh, the problem definitely on uh, on other people that have, uh, that have had it. And it's probably because, like, the place that you're watching it is, uh, isn't, like, an officially, isn't an official thing. And, like, the tags and stuff that they're using or whatever are probably... Um, related to that stuff, and then the algorithm is like, well, I guess it's just this, and, uh, well, there you go, so, but anyway, I'll have to, I'll have to read into that, uh, in a bit here, and, and see what we got, so you can just get up from right here, from down here, really, you can just, yink, I mean, I knew that, but I didn't know it was this easy, you know? Strange. Very strange. You know, when I first started out doing uh, YouTube, this time anyway, I never used to. Back when I, back when I did YouTube before, I never used to uh, read the text that people would say uh, in like in games, like commentate it, you know? I would never read uh, the stuff. That uh, popped up in dialogue boxes and whatnot. Um, so when I started to, this time around, I uh, it was like really awkward at first because I was like, ah, it's weird, like reading all this text. That uh, like it's just it's like awkward just reading it out, you know. But um, nowadays it's it's awkward like not reading it out. And, and like as a as a, uh, as a as a viewer, I don't personally care when when streamers read that stuff out, because I don't. I can read it, you know. Um, but um, I don't know. I I I feel like it's the right thing to do for for context. People who maybe aren't watching as carefully as, as somebody else or whatever. And oh please, I want to win. I want to get a win in this video, please. <laughs> Close. <laughs> You had a little leg stuck in your leg. They only have three. They only have three toes. 
They only have three toes? What? Really? I had no idea. That's so weird. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching it. That's not how it goes. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. We're three seconds away from perfection. Bye-bye.